I was born and raised in Tallahassee, Florida. I uh, went to school at Florida State University. I went to business school there, worked in uh, retail and other industries after, messed around a little bit with grad school. My brother-in-law actually worked for Badcock. He started out there in high school. After college, he went on to uh, manage a store and worked in the collections department. He said, hey, I'll get you an interview. We need some people to do this. I came down and interviewed. It was a great interview. I knew I had the job within five minutes. Um, had always planned to go to law school. Got accepted out of college. And so uh, when I was 30, I decided uh, I'm going to go ahead and bite the bullet, borrow some money and go to law school. And then I get a phone call from a guy named Joe Whitten and he told me that uh, he had a job opportunity for me. And I was like, uh, that's great, Joe, but I gotta think about it. Well, that was kind of a big deal. Called him back and I said, I'll take the job on one condition. I said, I wanna become a dealer. And he said, you give me two years, uh, you work hard, I'll, I'll get you set up with some good stores so you can learn from them and you can help them. And, and I'll stand behind you if you do a good job, I'll stand behind you and become a dealer. Well, two years later, to the month, is when I became a dealer. It was the right decision um, and the hard work and the dedication of doing things the right way, not cutting corners, has absolutely paid off. What are the advantages of becoming a dealer? You have a very unique ability to affect your community in a positive way especially in a small town. When I would go to the grocery store, hey, Mr. Badcock, <laughs> obviously my last name's Johnson and not Badcock, but you were, you were the face of the community. When we would do charitable stuff, hey, look what Badcock's doing for us. It, it afforded me the opportunity to affect a lot of people. I had the opportunity to mentor kids at the high school, I was gonna say coaching, do mission trips. To me, it was never about a paycheck and make it as much money as I could. It was really about what can I do to make the world a better place because I was here. If everyone works toward being the best Badcock dealers they can and being the best Badcock stores that they can, it only makes all of us stronger. It makes all of us better. Seeing the, the hard work and seeing people enjoying what they're doing, it makes the job a lot more fun, that's for sure. There's a couple ways you can go about this business. Um, you can go with, I'm gonna spend as little as I can, I'm gonna keep my overhead low, that way I can maximize my profits. That's not the way we do business. The way we wanna do business is, yes, it may cost us more in the short run, but we're gonna make sure we do things right by the customer. We're gonna make sure our store looks as, as great as it can look. We're gonna make sure that it's all done right. We wanna build our foundation on bedrock and not on sand. It's about taking care of the customer's problem, taking care of their need, and doing what's best for them. It's our job to be the experts because customers don't shop for furniture every day. They don't look at beds and mattresses. It's our job is to do what's right by the customer and that's what treating them right means. Not selling them as much as you can, getting the right fit for their needs, even if it means they're spending less money. That money in the long run is not the most important thing. The most important thing is taking care of the customer because they'll be back if you do that. When a customer comes in, uh, we expect them to be greeted pretty quickly. Obviously that's important, but we wanna make them feel like they're at home. You can change the way they look at their home. They will be proud of what they have. They'll invite their friends over, their family over. I'm hosting Christmas this year because I got a new dining room table and living room from Badcock. Badcock gives us the freedom to do whatever we need to make sure that the customer is treated right. They have been around for 117 years for a reason and I hope they'll be around another 117 years. I won't be, but Badcock should be. Because they treat the customer right, because they understand it all about our customers, and it's about doing the right thing.